Legging Pirates. Swing for the ring here, and that's right, it is another gorgeous, beautiful day at the Big Lake. Looks like we got a little sailboat race going on over in the distance. Uh, the beach, though, it's looking gorgeous. We're gonna hunt a new part of the beach today. Usually, I go all the way down to the main part where the pavilion, the restaurant is. Um, but here, a lot of people like it. The reason is because they don't have to walk so far across all of the sand, which means a really good thing. Tip of the day when it comes to metal detecting, the more congested a beach is, the higher concentration of drops you're gonna find. So there's gonna be a lot of coins right in that small area now again where i'm usually hunting it's a big beach things are scattered all over the place but as you can see here it's small things aren't going to be scattered as widely across this section of the beach just because you cram so many people into this little section it's all in one area so hopefully that'll save us some time in looking for targets but truthfully because it is so nice we want to be out there it is gorgeous. Water, 74 degrees today. Perfect, refreshing, and hey, the scenery is not bad at all. Let's get in the water. Let's see what we can find today, and we're swinging for rings. All right, let's go. Ringing the scoop, ringing the scoop. Check it out. I was given a high tone, so probably. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I was gonna say, not gonna be gold, but it is a ring in the scoop. It's copper with a silver plating on it. Player one, ready up. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. All right, that's how my scoop got it right there, guys. Woo-wee. Hanging on by a windshield. <laughs> All right. Made in China. 1955 olds. Super 88. That's a beaut right there. Just imagine that, driving down the side of the beach, 1955. Oh, yeah. All right. Got us a new phone. Those were the days. Um, hello. Do you know where the gold is? Hello. Hello, my precious. Precious. Ooh. Fancy. I'm not. I'm not banking that this is going to be gold, but it's an older looking ring, isn't it? That bad? Oh yeah, it's definitely copper. You can see the patina on it. But it has a marking. Sometimes 10K does, it'll get some patina on it, but what's that say? What's that say? No way. All right, I'm I'm calling fake on this gold here. It looks like it says 18k inside, but there's no way. There's no way that 18k would come out looking like this. It's like rusted. There's the copper patina in there. I just don't. I don't see it, guys. I'll take it to the jeweler, but I just. There's no way an 18 karat ring is going to have this rough of an edge either. But that's alright. Plus it came up as kind of a high tone. But it's a ring in the scoop. It's a ring in the scoop. As many of you know, no hunt is complete without the infamous beaver 
Beaver tail, beaver tail. Oh, beaver tail. All right, pirates. We just got back to the car. I think we're done digging for today. Um, put in another six hours worth. Had fun. Didn't find as much as I had hoped, but we do have a few rings here. One of these is my actual wedding band, but what we're gonna do right now is a quick test because this ring on the inside, it is marked 18 carat. And there's just no way. I, I can't fathom that this is actually gonna be 18 carat. But we're gonna find out. I have been wrong before. I did find a 14 carat ring at a garage sale and it was tarnished pretty close to this and I didn't think it was real. I took it to my jeweler, he tested it, polished it up, and was like, yeah man, that's the real deal. And I bought it for a dollar. So, not a bad investment on that one, but I don't know, for 18 carat, okay, in hindsight 2020, this is 18 carat. This ring here is also 18 carat, both white and yellow gold. Notice the difference notice the sheen there's just no way I mean we've got butter to rust <laughs> I would be shocked anyway we've got both of these rings we've got the Garrett AT Pro here we're gonna go ahead and test it using VDI numbers just to compare I'll let you guys be the judge and Hey, we'll take it to the jeweler. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what these numbers for these rings come up as. First ring up is my ring, 18 karat, white and yellow gold. We'll see what this comes up as. It's gonna be Pro Zero, so that's the mode we're using. Sixty-three. Sixty four. Sixty four. Sixty four. All right. That's my ring coming in at sixty four. Eighteen carat white and yellow gold. All right. Now let's go ahead. We're gonna try the uh, we're gonna try the not so gold one. It's such a different tone. Seventy five. Seventy six. 76 76 so there you have it pirates um, two 18 karat rings coming in completely different now I am keeping in mind the different shape and the size to this one I have heard that there are large gold rings that will ring up as zinc pennies a lot of your class rings will do this so um, this is kind of more of that size to a class ring versus a traditional wedding band But still with it ringing up in that zinc copper tone um, With those VDI numbers and seeing the discoloration and the rust and Oh man some nice copper patina in here <laughs> I still just can't believe that this would actually be true 18 karat gold but Let's take it to the jeweler. Real or fake? It's time to get the verdict. Put your comments down below. Tell me what you think. I've got my idea. It says 18K inside twice. What do you think? Hey, tell me what I already know. This brass? Yeah. Oh, it's, I, I, I mean, it's stamped 18K twice. <laughs> I'm like, 18K, there's no way that it's gonna tarnish and look copper like that, but there was that one 14K ring that it was like super tarnished that I brought in. Yeah. And you shine that thing up and I was like, oh my gosh, it is real. Like, I thought that one was fake too. Yeah. Um, but I was like, I found that 
it's heavy, but I was like, there's no way. The patina, there's pati copper patinas and stuff on it, and yeah, I was like, it's just not that. quite there. Well, damn, man. Sorry. It was enough to make the heart go. Because <laughs> I saw the markings, but then I, I saw everything else. I was like, nah, not a chance in hell. Yeah, I was thanks. Really worth thanks. Like thanks, China. Yeah. Actually, I know exactly what it is. Oh, perfect. Give us some old man knowledge. Prison ring. <gasps> Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Nice, that actually might be a little bit That's like a good eat. more collectible than... You know how, because everything's been filed? Uh-huh. Everything's put on here, it's put on in the file. I used to get these before where guys would try and sell them. Yeah. Out of bolts and all that other kind of stuff. Yeah. They literally do everything in file to minus the time. There you Somebody's okay. stamped taking care of trying to be funny, but I mean, you know, probably just gonna sell it. Stamped it twice. Yeah. <laughs> really had to it's sell really it. Really special 18 carat. Yeah. But it looks like a prison ring. Cause yeah, the 18 carat really is smiling. even 18 carat. That's so funny. It's 36 carat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good That's a really prison good ring. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times if you just look at the pattern, yeah. and it's not always, but I mean, nothing's actually polished. Or, I mean, a little bit of sanding, but uh, oh. yeah, all the details cut in with a pile. And broken now. Now it's lost again. Thanks a lot. That's how, they, that's how you treat your rings around here? You just throw stuff around? All right. Two lovers rings now. Uh -huh. Well, cool. Polish it up and let me resell it like it's 18K again. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. There you have it. Fake. Just like I thought. Prison ring. I like it. So, as you heard, all of these little etchings in it, they're filed in. They are hand done. Made to look a little ornate, a little custom. But, yeah, she's brass. Hopefully you can see the little bit of green patina in there. It's definitely fading, a little bit of rust. Brass ring, not 18K or 36K because they did stamp it twice. Thought that was pretty interesting. I guess they really were trying to convince somebody that this was legit. But, like I said, I had a feeling it was going to be fake. But it's prison ring. Uh, I guess I know what I'm going to be wearing. If we ever go to prison, hopefully uh, that's not the case. There was someone that uh, someone someone was down there looking at me when I just said that. Now they think I'm a prisoner, which probably makes sense because I'm wearing this orange, so they might be a little scared. So we gotta be a little more quiet, right? <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And even though it's a prison ring, just remember, keep swinging for the prison ring. <laughs>